Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Harakakwadash. That's all praise to the Heavenly Father Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And I want to say a sincere shalom wa barakatham to the hopeful elect, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth, in this doctrine, risking their lives and their freedom. Shalom. Okay, the title of this lesson is going to be Jacob and Esau will never coexist equally. All right, so that means someone's going to be at the top and someone's going to be at the bottom. All right, in these times that we're living in, all right, these wicked times that we're living in under Esau's rulership, they're at the top right now. All right, so you Jakes out there that want to, you know, uh, 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 fight for equality and uh, you, you want to be on a level with Esau and you want to get positions in governments and, you know, own businesses like Esau, it's not going to happen in this time. All right, this is not our go around. This is not our time to rule. And that's what a lot of Jakes got to understand, right? Like the scripture says in Micah 2 and 10, right? This is not our rest. This is Esau's rulership. This is his society. This is his, his, uh, his time. Okay, this is his rulership. Did he know the Most High sets up, sets up um, one king and, and brings down another? All right, and the Most High, Yahweh Shemiah Shai, set up Esau, set up the base of men. All right, and this goes all the way back to the womb between Jacob and Esau. All right, I'm going to get into it. You know, I'm just you know just 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 giving you a um, you know a breakdown of of the of the lesson, so to speak. But you know, that's what Jake has to realize. All right. It's never going to when Esau and Jacob will never coexist. All right. That 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 dream that a lot of Jake's have that MLK dream. That's not that's not. That's not reality. OK, the Edomites, the so-called white race will always be at the top in this society, this wicked society. All right. They will be the ones that will always enforce the laws. They will make the laws. All right. They, they, they're they're uh their ruler their rulership is really spread all, all throughout the all throughout the world okay that their wicked philosophies that those wicked philosophies are going to um you know uh, 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 be the norm um among amongst his rulership all right because this, this is a wicked society a wicked rulership that we're living in and a lot of you jakes have to accept that all right stop trying to be equal to esau stop trying to go out there and march and you know we got rights and all that stuff no you don't have no rights your rights is what Esau says they are, all right? But, you know, through the Spirit, through prophecy, we see Esau's rulership um, really deteriorating at these times, all right? And, and there's a transition of power that's being taken place, all right? But the main point of this lesson is Jacob and Esau will never coexist equally, all right? Where, you know, um, you know, where, 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 you know, no, you know, Jacob's, Jacob's uh, uh, at a certain level and Esau's at a certain level and everything's equal. No, it's not. It's, n it's never going to happen like that. So let me get into the scriptures. Um, this is Genesis 25 and I'm going to start at verse 21 to show you there's always been a difference that uh, between Jacob and Esau. OK, this is Genesis 25 and 21. And this is going back to when um, Isaac and uh, Re Isaac and Rebecca. All right. And Isaac entreated the Lord uh, for his wife because she was barren and the Lord was entreated of him and Rebecca's wife and Re of him and Rebecca, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. All right. Two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, two manner of people, you know, good versus evil. All right, light, light and darkness, two manner of people, two complete opposites. Okay, um, two manner of people. All right, meaning nations shall be separated from thy bowels, and one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. All right, one that one people that's stronger is clearly Jake. Clearly, clearly you you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the lesser race is a so-called white race. All right. But people say, why well, well, they have everything. They have all the money. They have this, they have that, they have the they have, of course they do. They're in rulership right now. All right. It, like the 
someone has to be the head and someone has to be the tail. All right, all through all throughout time. All right, and Jacob has been the tail for a long time. All right, but there's going to be a there's going there's going to be and there is a transition that's taking place right now. Okay, let me get back. Let me read a little bit more of this scripture. Um, and when her days were to be delivered, so like and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over like in hairy garment, and they called him Esau. That's the so-called white man. That's the so-called uh, progenitor of the so-called white race, Esau, okay? And it's, and he came out first. Going back to the verse 23, the elder, Esau was the elder, shall serve the younger, all right? So Esau's pretty much a born servant to Jacob, all right? But why aren't, why aren't they serving us? Why aren't they uh, uh, in subjection to us? Because we're not in our rulership. Our rule, this is not our rulership, all right? Living in America, wherever you, Jake's made dwell throughout the world, this is not our rulership, all right? Our rulership, our ultimate rulership is the kingdom of heaven. If yes, we uh, there was a time where we ruled under King Solomon and, uh, excuse me, King David and King Solomon, all right? But that, was, that wasn't the kingdom. The kingdom is when Jacob will rule in righteousness forever, okay? This is this consolation prize of Esau's uh, rulership is, is only temporal, okay? For however long, how much longer Esau got, it's only temporal, okay? Um, let me get this. Uh, to show you that the Most High is is, is in complete control and has always been in complete control, okay? Um, this is Daniel 4 and 17. This this is by the, the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High, that's the Most High Yahweh, ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it it to whomsoever he will and set it set it up over it the basis of man and esau is the base of man all right the lowest of the low and he eat in the most high set esau up to rule right now this is esau's time okay every rulership has an end now that's what you got to realize every rulership through all throughout the beginning of time had had an end all right, the only rulership that's not going to have an end is the kingdom of heaven, where Jacob, all right, started when Yahawashai, King David, the 12, and the elect are going to rule forever, all right? That, that's, the, that's, the, that's the rulership that won't have an end. But all the rulerships throughout time, the Persians, the Medes, the Grecians, the Babylonians, the Assyrians, okay, um, all throughout the Dark Ages, all right, where, 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 where Jake was ruling, those rulerships had an end, okay? And Esau's rulership is going to have an end. The base of men is uh, Esau is going to have an end. All right, but the the point is the Most High set Esau up to rule right now. The Most High set Most High does everything for a reason because it's His will. The Most High set Esau up to rule to show you His wickedness so He could be revealed in the last days to show you how not to rule. All right, this is Daniel uh, two and I'm gonna start at verse twenty. Daniel answered and said, "Blessed be the name." the name of the most high forever and ever for wisdom and might are his and he changes the times and the seasons he removeth kings and setteth up kings he giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding I already just said he setteth up kings all right and give wisdom unto the wise he said and before that it says he removes kings all right so the kings of this world this current wicked world that we're living in or Esau Edom, the the uh, the the elite bankers, all right, your uh, Rothschilds and your uh, um, your your Rockefellers and your Gettys and your um, Oppenheimers, those are the kings of this world right now that are ruling, all right. He removes kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge, and they that know understanding. He revealeth the deep secret. It's like he revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light. In the light that dwelleth within, it's like it with him. All right. Um, let me get this real quick. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, uh, verse 75, and verse 7. Uh, yeah, sorry, F6. For promotion cometh ne neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. 
but the most high is the judge. He putteth down one and setteth up another. All right, so like I say, like I've been saying, the most high set up Esau. He's the he's at the top right now. Okay. And, and Jacob's at the bottom. All right. But eventually Esau is going to be at the bottom and Jacob's going to be at the top. That's how things work. It's never going to be where we're just equal. All right. And, and that was something that was uh, uh that Esau tries to push out there that, oh, we're all one people and let's come together, but just let me rule. Just let me be the the the, the let me uh, give the orders and make the laws. No, it's not going to work like that. Esau, you're living in your rulership. You're going to make the laws and give the orders and, 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 and rule wickedly and rule with your sword. All right. That's fine. All right. Cause that's how the most high set it up. All right. But eventually you're going to come down low. You're going to be on a low level where you belong. And Jacob's going to be in a righteous seat where they belong. All right. You Israelites. All right. Um, let me see. Um, Oh, let me grab this real quick. This is in Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 10 in verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. And those servants upon horses, and the horse represents power, all right, are the Edomites right now, the so-called so -called white people, all right? They're ruling right now because, but like the, like the scripture said, I have seen servants going back to Genesis, the 20, um, the 23rd, 25th chapter, the 23rd verse, where it says the elders shall serve the younger. So Esau is a born servant. All right. The servants being on horses is Esau in his power right now. And princes walking upon the earth. Those princes are you Israelites. OK, the, the, you know, you Israelite men. OK, but those servants are are, are the ones that's going to be the um, those servants upon horses. They're the ones that are going to be walking upon earth. All right. And, and they're nowhere near princes. They're nowhere. They're servants. They're going to be. They're going to be servants until that that their thousand years of servitude is done. All right. Uh, let me grab this in the apocrypha, in uh, Second Ezra chapter six, and I'm going to start at verse seven. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, and when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? The end, like I was going into, that every rulership has an end. All right, and this is the prophet Ezra asking the angel, when is the end of the, the, this current era that we're living in? All right, this current rulership. In verse 8, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, and when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. And Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Esau is the end of an era. All right. When Esau's era, when Esau's rulership is ended, they're going to go straight down. All right. They're not going to go, you know, they're not going to uh, uh, drop from high to medium. No, they're going from high to low. And Jacob's shooting right to the top where we belong as a nation. And we're going to stay there. OK. But like, like I said, the most high is all about balance. The most high is not about having uh, 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 Jacob and Esau 50-50. Uh, um, OK. That that that's not that's not that's not um that's not righteous according to the heavenly father, okay. This is um Proverbs eleven and one. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, and a just weight is his delight. All right, that just weight, which balance every which balances everything out, is eventually Jacob's going to be at the top and Esau is going to be at the bottom, okay. Um, let me see uh, what else I have. All right, and this is and this is a uh, a scripture that a lot of you know you Christians out there they pass over that that think that you know we're all you know you know God loves everyone and you know these are my white brothers and you know my Chinese brothers and no the Most High is not about that the Most High Most High is about division the Most High is about dividing the Most High is about dividing His people all right His chosen people from the rest of the nations that's spoken of let me get it in Deuteronomy uh, seven and six. Uh, for Deuteronomy 7 and 6, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all above above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right. So the most high is about division. The most high is not about all of us coming together. And that was a notion that was put forth during um, uh, Antiochus Epiphanes during the um, time of the um, uh, uh, the Grecians. Let me grab that real quick. This is uh, Maccabees 1, excuse me, in verse 42. And, and that's what Esau tries to push now. 
All right, yeah, we all let's all come together as one people. Okay, yeah, we'll come all all together. You know, the the so-called blacks, the Latinos, the the white people, and we're all evil. We're all we're all uh, one people, but. You know, we're still going to make the rules and we're still going to make the laws and we're still going to enforce the rules and the laws. And no, it's, it's not going to work like that. All right. This is like I said, this is like I've been saying, this is Esau's kingdom and they're going to do what they're going to do. All right. There's no righteousness. In, there's no righteous in them. So all they're going to do is wickedness. All they're going to spew out is wickedness. All right. This is uh first Maccabees one and verse 42. No, actually 41. Moreover, King, moreover, King Antiochus wrote in to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and even one should leave his own laws so all the heathen agreed according to the commandments of the king yea many also of the israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the sabbath that's our people falling away from the heavenly father all right and and you know two thirds of our people are going to stay in this 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 dark state that they're living in, all right? They're not going to wake up to this truth, this knowledge, this understanding, the names of the Lord and the Son, okay? But this is just how, you know, there's nothing new under the sun, all right? Esau was trying to do that back then, all right? Because when when our people conform to the ways of Esau, to the ways of the devil, they that brings them further away from the Heavenly Father, right? Where Esau wants you, all right? But, hey, um, that's not, uh, like I say, that's not going to, we're never going to coexist with Esau and live equally. Esau, as long as Esau's in rulership, they're always going to have a, they, we're always going to have a foot on your Israelites' necks. All right, whether you whether it's a a a, a light foot or or, or or a hard crushing foot, they're going to have their foot on your neck, whether you believe it or not, whether you can receive this the, receive this message or not. This you know this um this um this lesson. All right, this is um. Let me see, let me get this. In Luke, this is Luke um, to show you that the Most High is all about division. This is Luke twelve and fifty one. Suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. The Most High is about dividing, dividing us in, into our, our our proper um, our, our nations. All right, that we that we belong to. All right, the Most High don't want us to be dwelling with the Moabites, the so-called Chinese or the Hamites, because what do we do? Our people are simple. Our people start to worship their gods and follow after their wicked ways. No, our Most High made us separate. It's, the scripture says, um, uh, um, I have severed you from the other nations. All right, severed meaning cut us off from the other nations. The Most High is about division. All right, the, the, the dividing us, you know, keeping us separate and holy. All right, this is the book of Ecclesiastes 17 and verse 17. Um, and it reads, For in the divisions of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. All right? So the Most High, when he divided the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But the, the Israel, all right, is uh, is supposed to be ruled and governed by Yahweh by Shem Shai, by the righteous laws of the scriptures. All right, we're not supposed to be adhering to these laws and, 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 and these false ideologies of these heathen nations. Okay, that's off. All right. I had a few more scriptures. Um, let me see. Because Jay got to get that out their mind, man. Esau, you know, they're going to do wicked. All right. Well, whether you believe it or not, whether you can receive this message or not, Jacob and Esau is never going to, you know, you could be working with an Edomite and y'all could be making the same pay. All right. That don't mean shit. All right. You're never going to be seen equal to them. All right. And you shouldn't be one. You shouldn't want to be seen equal to Edomites and none of these other heathen nations because we're better than those other nations. Just thus save the scriptures. Okay. So it you, you should never want to be equal with your damn enemy, all right? With your with the adversary of your how about Yahweh Shah. You should want to strive to 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 please the heavenly Father so He can put the Spirit on you so you can open your eyes and see that we're better than them, all right? And this ain't you know we don't got to say it. The Scripture says it, all right. That the our spirit shows it, all right. That we we're, we're, we're a spiritual people. We're a holy people when we come back to our power, all right. This is Ecclesiastes. Uh, 33 and 13, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it as he pleasure, so man so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them a like, liketh him the best. Like, yeah. 
Good is set against evil, all right? Good is Jacob and evil is Esau, all right? It's a balance. Like I said, the Most High is all about balance, okay? So evil and good and evil can never coexist equally, all right? You're going to have good and you're going to have evil, all right? Life against death, so the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. All right, there's always going to be a fight uh, 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 between Esau and Jacob until we get in the kingdom where they're going to just be under subjection and, and they're going to do what the hell we say. All right. Good is set against evil, life against death. All right. Esau is anti-life. All right. And, and, and it's evident through all his dealings in this world. Anti-life. He kills the kills the kills the animals, kills the ocean, kills the earth, kills the air. All right. He's anti-life and life is against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. Okay, so it, it shows you right there that, that let me see, verse, I'll read verse 15. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and they are two and two, one against another. This Most High is about balance, all right? And, and you know, it shows you that we're not going to be equal here in Esau. We're not going to be seen as equals here in Esau society. Or your opinion doesn't matter. What you think doesn't matter. Okay? Because Esau is ruling right now. All right? And Esau is going to do things according to his wicked ways. All right? And, you, you know, that you have to you have to really accept it because it ain't shit we could do but call on the Heavenly Father. And and we, the men, the true, sincere men that are calling on the Heavenly Father, are, are we can see Esau's downfall. We can see Esau's end. Okay? You just have to be spiritual enough to... to to, to, to you know understand the prophecies and 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 see that we're living in a time of the transition where um you know like I say Esau's coming down and bringing brought low where they belong and Jacob the elect that's prophesying and laboring and and, and prophesying and laboring and and, and, and uh, a sign and crime for all the abominations are, are rising to the top all right so you know Lord willing this lesson was edifying to the elect, and I, I like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakwadash, the more honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.